What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video we are taking a look at No Wind's Mercy, the Iron Banner Pulse Rifle. Now Iron Banner is only here for a few more days and in this video I will help you guys with an issue you may be having and if you ain't sure if the Iron Banner is worth the grind to a rank 5 and to you guys who already are a rank 5 but ain't sure on this weapon. Let me first off say I am a fan of Pulse Rifles and as soon as I saw this thing I knew I was going to grind Iron Banner until I hit that rank 5 just to get it. Now as far as I am aware everything Lord Saladin offers in his inventory can drop as post match rewards but in my entire Iron Banner grind I have seen everything else drop apart from this Pulse Rifle so I'm guessing it's a rare drop. I actually bought mine from Lord Saladin himself as the mods on it are more than okay. My primary use of this weapon is PvP, so we will take a look at its PvP stats once we have gone through the perks it offers. Now purchased from Lord Saladin, it offers 280 attack. It's a 6614 rate of fire impact weapon, same as that of the Red Death. We have 34 range, which isn't the best, and its stability as standard is 71. Reload is a stat number of 68. Clip size as standard is 33. Now this weapon offers three sights, Red Dot OAS, Range Lens RLRS and True Sight IS. It then has Outlaw and Third Eye with three column four mods we have perfect balance, braced frame and injection mold. Using braced frame, maxes stability but lowers magazine size down to 27. So let's look at this weapon stability. Well even with max stability using that braced frame, the weapon still kicks slightly up and to the right but in my opinion it's easily controllable and with the Red Bat OAS and True Sight IS this thing is a headshot machine if used correctly. Now I have used it a lot in PvP and I'm really enjoying this weapon. Let's take a look at its PvP stats. So this weapon shoots 6 bullets per second so it fires 360 rounds per minute. Using Brace Frame, it empties its entire clip in just over 4 seconds. Its reload and ready time as standard is 2.28 seconds, but with the Outlaw perk, its reload time more than halves. Damage this thing does is 32 to the head and 22 to the body. So damage per second to the head is 192, and to the body, damage per second is 132. Maximum clip damage with Brace Frame is 864 and without it it's 1056. So this weapon with a single clip can easily take out 3 or 4 Guardians if you are accurate. So all around this is a promising looking Pulse Rifle and I can almost guarantee you will be seeing a lot of this in the near future in Trials of Osiris and PvP. Although it can't 2 burst kill an enemy, if a damn sure almost does and it will with an extra shot. Now I have many Pulse Rifles I enjoy using, the Villainy, the Hawksaw, even the Raid Pulse Rifle which can 2 burst kill you. I personally think this offers more as an all-round weapon. Not sure though I'd take it over my Red Death. But guys, this is the No Wind's Mercy. If you have had it drop as a post-match reward while playing Iron Banner, let me know what mod you got on yours. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Control. Targets eliminated. Nice work. We all on YouTube every damn day. Watching these vids of the brand new games. Vid after vid, many are the same. That's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes. Heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.